subscribe to my youtube channel and click on this bell icon to get all the latest videos what's up everybody uh, today i'm going to show you how to change base number or the number conversation system in calculator as you can see in the model fx991 es plus which is a natural calculator and today i'm going to demonstrate it on this calculator how to number base conversation and how to do that so before you convert all those binary to decimal or decimal to hexadecimal all those you need to know something which is if you are new you should learn how to do it first basic is that in binary we have two base number system in decimal we have 10 base number system which is contains 0 to 9 and in hexadecimal we have 16 base number system it means that we can write up to 0 to 15 in hexadecimal if you want in octal number system we have 8 base which is 0 to up to 7 which you can count which is 8 base number and also in hexadecimal 0 to 9 are same as decimal number system but you can write 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14 and 15 also as a number and you can also uh, call that as 10 is equals to A, 11 is equals to B, 12 is equals to C, 13 D, 14 E, 15 F, 0 to 15 which is 16 number. That's why it is 16 base number system. But in binary we have only uh, 0 and 1 and the uh, number system, base number system is 2 for decimal it is 10 and as you can see. So our today's topic is how to change binary to decimal so let's convert this number 101101 so to do that you need to go to this calculator and click on mode this button if you click this one you can see base n you need to click 4 to go to this base conversation system so we need to click 4 and as you can see we have the tray to change the conversation from decimal to binary to hexadecimal to octal all those system so by default it is in decimal but you need to uh, change the mode into the binary first as you can see our number is binary so you need to write the number in binary form to change it you need to just click this bin binary if your number is in octal you will select this one and if your number is in hexadecimal you need to select this one so first let's do it with binary so as you can see we have the option for binary we can input binary number here so our number is uh, 101101 so let's put this so this is our number so we need to convert it so to do that you need to click equal then you will select decimal because we are converting to decimal click this one as you can see our final answer is 45 so if you convert this 101101 binary number into decimal it will you will have only 45 and it is converted you can also do the same thing just reset it using on and you can change the 45 suppose I am putting the 45 here and press equal as an example and now if you want it to convert it into binary as you can see our number 101101 you need to just forget all those number before one all those zeros are less significant you don't need to count it okay only the one zero one one zero one those are important okay always remember that so this is the main conversation let's go to another one our next is decimal to hexadecimal okay so our decimal number is 250 here so you need to change it to decimal so now I can put the value of decimal in 250 always remember equal sign and then you can just uh, click on hexadecimal and as you can see our answer is FA just forget all the zeros so our final answer is FA which is a 16 base number also we can write it in as we know that f is equals to 15 and a is equals to 10 so we just forgot to write the answer from the binary to decimal which is 45 it was previous and the decimal number the base is 10 and here is our answer is decimal to hexadecimal 250 
to FA which is also known as 1510 or 16 base number then we have a binary number to hexadecimal number let's convert it 10101 so to do that just reset it and select binary now you can write binary number 10101 now press equal and now you have the option to choose it up to hexadecimal just click this and as you can see our final answer is 15 so we can write it here which is a 16 base number or we can write f 16 now we have the option for decimal to octal and our decimal number is 512 let's convert it to octal reset it and our number is decimal so select decimal and our number is 512 equal and we want to change it to octal okay so just click octal as you can see our decimal converted to octal which is 1000 which is 8 base number now we have octal to binary octal number is 100 let's reset it uh, your octal number is 100 equal so let's convert it to binary so it is converted into binary which is our number is start from 1 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 six zero one and six zero so this is our particular binary number okay and it is base is two so that's why i'm writing two everywhere you need to write the base here in the conversion system it is a really must octal eight and binary two i have written and the last one we have hexadecimal to decimal so let's convert it reset it hexadecimal okay First, I need to write hexadecimal number which is 64. Press equal and we need to convert it to decimal. So click decimal and it is converted uh, hexadecimal 64 number to a decimal number which is 100. And it is 10 base number that we all know the decimal. So I showed you all the things that binary to decimal decimal to hexadecimal binary to hexadecimal decimal to octal octal to binary hexadecimal to decimal and all those basics i have showed you how to do it in uh, fx991 es plus calculator and this is easy as you know really easy you just need to know the basic which is for binary 2 base decimal 10 base hexadecimal 16 base octal 8 base and hexadecimal you can write up to 0 to 15 and the 10 11 12 13 14 are also considered as a b c d e f you can write it in hexadecimal number so this is really easy and i showed you every single tips how to do it in really easiest way possible so i hope you will like my videos and obviously subscribe to my channel and uh, click the bell icon to get all the latest content of mine so thanks for watching guys and peace out and have a nice day